From the Paper News 24-7 Newsroom, here are your obituaries for Thursday, May 19th, 2011. I'm Frank Phillips reporting. William Bill Ralph Smith, 82 of Noblesville, passed away Tuesday, May 17, 2011, at Riverview Hospital in Noblesville. He was born on January 20th, 1929, to James T. and Helena Hartman Smith in Crawfordsville. Bill was raised in Crawfordsville, where he met and married Barbara June Lisby. He was a 1946 graduate of Crawfordsville High School. While in Crawfordsville, he was employed by R. R. Donnelly. He and Barbara spent 18 years in Mulberry while he worked for Haywood Publishing in Lafayette. They then moved to Lafayette, where he became the assistant director for Purdue University Printing Services. Later, after returning to Haywood Publishing, he and Don Benham bought the company and renamed it Haywood Printing and also formed Twin City Typesetting, which Bill eventually became sole owner of. After retirement, he and Barbara spent 13 years in Green Valley, Arizona before returning to Noblesville in 2007. Bill's favorite activities were golfing and spending time with his family. He was a member of First United Methodist Church in Noblesville and proudly served his country with the U.S. Navy and National Guard serving in the Korean wartime. In addition to his wife Barbara, he will be greatly missed by his sons Larry and Nancy Smith of Plano, Texas, Ron Smith of Otterbein, Indiana, Tom Smith of Noblesville, a daughter Linda Bevins of Westfield, a son Bruce Smith of Fort Wayne, a sister, Irene Beatty of San Diego, California, a brother, James Robert Smith of Salt Lake City, Utah, nine grandchildren, Shelley Ryder, Sean Smith, Micah Smith, William and Casey Bevins, Whitney Bevins, Allison Bevins, Alex Smith, Connor Smith, and Logan Smith, and 12 great-grandchildren. A memorial service will be held on Saturday, May 21st, 2011, at 12 noon at Randall and Roberts Funeral Home, 1685 Westfield Road in Noblesville, with calling beginning at 11 a.m. Pastor In Sook Hong Peebles will officiate. In lieu of flowers, memorial contributions may be made to the Alzheimer's Association, 50 East 91st Street, Suite 100, Indianapolis, Indiana, 46240-4830. Online condolences can be given at www.randallroberts.com. Shirley Ann Foy, 69, of Crawfordsville, passed away at noon at the St. Clair Medical Center, Crawfordsville, on Tuesday, May 17th. She was born December 27, 1941, in Bloomington, Illinois, to Alfred and Jana B. Hammond Crumry. She married Gregory L. Foy, March 14, 1987, in Valparaiso. He survives. Mrs. Foy retired after 14 years as a cashier for Dominic's Grocery Stores. She attended East Chicago, Indiana schools. She was a member of Moose Lodge No. 6 Crawfordsville, where she had recently been the chaplain. She had also gone through all the degrees in the lodge and became the senior regent. In addition to her husband, she is survived by children Joe and Debbie Crumry of Paoli, Russell and Barbara Foy, Geneva, Florida, Casey and Megan Foy, Marengo, Ricky Foy, Florida, Sherry Knight, North Judson. Also surviving is a brother, Edward Pat Crumry, Boone Grove, 21 grandchildren and 10 great-grandchildren. She was preceded in death by her parents, three sons, Mark Chambers, Rodney Foy, and Roger Foy, and a brother, Alfred Crumry. Funeral services will be held Saturday, May 21st at 7 p.m. at the Powers Preed Funeral Home, 315 South Washington Street, Crawfordsville. Cremation will follow the funeral service. Friends may call at the funeral home on Saturday from 5 p.m. until 7 p.m. Memorials may be made to the Moose Lodge No. 6, 402 Waynetown Road, Crawfordsville, 47933. Online condolences may be sent to powerspreebfh.com. 
Lori Ann Grant Oates, 47, of Crawfordsville, passed away Tuesday, May 17, at 2.35 a.m. at the Williamsburg Healthcare, Crawfordsville. She was born May 14, 1964, in Kokomo, to Harold Arthur and June Coke Grant. She married Charles Cliff Oates, December 23, 2006, in Lebanon. He preceded her in death in 2007. Mrs. Oates had been a waitress, was a courier for Park County Orchards, Rockville, worked at the Elorica Call Center, Terre Haute, and Indiana Packers, Delphi. She was a 1982 graduate of Clinton Prairie High School and attended Indiana Business College. She is survived by her children, Robert Jordan of Thorntown, Charles C. Oates, Lebanon, Lauren Grant, Colfax, Lindsay Oates, Rockville. Also surviving are her mother, June Cox of Colfax, a brother, James Grant of Franklin, Indiana, a granddaughter, Chloe Hamilton. In addition to her husband, she was preceded in death by a son, Gary Wayne Grant, and her father. Funeral services will be held Saturday, May 21 at 1 p.m. at the Powers Pre Funeral Home, 315 South Washington Street, Crawfordsville, with the Reverend Denver Fields officiating. Burial will be at the Poplar Grove Cemetery, Marshall, Indiana. Friends may call Saturday at the funeral home from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. Memorials may be made to the donor's favorite charity. Online condolences may be sent to powersprebfh.com. And Doris I. Welch Kirkpatrick Gordon, age 90, a former area resident, died Wednesday morning, May 18th, at her daughter's home in North Judson following a lengthy illness. Arrangements are incomplete at Family and Friends Funeral Home of Wingate. The URL is www.familyandfriendsfh.com. And those are your obituaries for Thursday, May 19th, 2011. I'm Frank Phillips reporting.